Madam Speaker, I'm happy to yield next to the gentleman from Georgia, Mr. Clyde. Thank you uh, to my good friend, Vice Chairman Johnson. Madam Speaker, last week a leaked draft opinion regarding the Dobbs v. Jackson Women's Health Organization case revealed that the U.S. Supreme Court is likely to overturn Roe v. Wade, the disastrous 1973 decision that legalized abortion. Once this opinion is officially signed by the court, the cover of federal law over the murder of innocent babies will finally be removed. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. While millions of precious lives have tragically been taken due to the evils of abortion, this monumental news is a giant leap forward in our fight to protect the unborn. Yet in light of this historic pending victory for the sanctity of life, Democrats' disturbing hysteria has truly gone off the rails. Due to heightened tensions and increased threats from the left, fences and barricades had to be installed at the Supreme Court building. Justices have received additional security, and Justice Alito and his family have had to be removed to an undisclosed location. While the White House initially refused to condemn protests targeting justices' homes, radical pro-abortion extremists took that signal and violated federal law by organizing unruly demonstrations outside the homes of Justices Kavanaugh, Roberts, and Alito. Churches and pro-life organizations have also faced dangerous threats. And despite fake news reporting that attempted to downplay the crime, an anti-abortion facility in Wisconsin was arson attacked with a Molotov cocktail over the weekend. What has sparked such outrageous acts of violence? The threat of saving human life. That's right. It's the threat of saving human life. Think about that for a moment. Just the possibility that abortion regulation will rightfully return back to the states, giving millions of innocent souls another, a chance at life. That enrages the left to the point of violence. It's sickening, unconscionable, and downright evil. Yet President Biden wants to call Republicans extreme. I'll tell you what's extreme, Madam Speaker. Abortion's on demand. That's extreme. Murder of the innocent unborn. Unborn. That's extremely wrong. My colleagues on the left are big proponents of abortion. But when you look at the disproportional number of abortions in the minority communities, it becomes quite apparent that to them, black lives matter, but only after they're born. This is the bottom line. Life is our first and foremost fundamental right, fundamental unalienable right. And as a proud pro-life American, I will never stop fighting to protect it. So I want to end with a thank you. Thank you to Justices Samuel Alito, Clarence Thomas, Neil Gorsuch, Brett Kavanaugh, and Amy Coney Barrett. Thank you for defending the Constitution and for standing for the right to life. Thank you for finally putting in an end to the lie of a supposed constitutional right to abortion. May the Lord greatly bless you and bless your family and your family's family for generations to come for standing up for life. Soli Deo Gloria, and I yield back. All glory to God. Thank you, my friend, for that, uh, that strong word. Madam Speaker, I'm